today we are flying as much as we possibly can with drones, comparing it to fixed wing imagery, which is the standard today. And what we're finding today is that um, there's still a lot more to learn. And so the more images that we can get up flying with the drone, do some ground truthing on that imagery to see what, if we're, if we're finding a spot in the image that is unusual or standing out from the rest of the image, what is causing that? Is it water? Is it nitrogen? Is it a soil property? Is it disease? Is it, uh, um, you know, phylloxera? Is, what, what is it? And once we ground truth the image, find out what we're dealing with, is there decisions that we can make that can impact quality? Quality is always the key for us with grapes. The better the quality, the higher we can, the higher the return on the bottle of wine. So is there something we can do with that information that leads to a uptick in quality? Where we want to go with drones, we need, we need better sensors that are affordable that we can put on these drones and fly. We want to create the black box of information, meaning when we see uh, this pattern or this intensity at this spectra level, uh, when we go out and ground truth it, um, we put that into the database about what we found, what, what was the symptom, what was the cause, um, what does it look like in that spectra? And that goes into a black box that we'll create, others will create out in the industry. And what we'd like to be able to do is fly, get an image, run it through the black box database and have it come back with a map of everything that's going on in the vineyard that could possibly be going on. Probably still has to be ground truth at that point, but I would love to see. And we know when it's green in May, it leads to high vigor in August and that's not going to be good wine quality. Well then maybe back in May we could choose not to put fertilizer on that section. And so we start getting into variable rate fertilization and controlling the, the, the vigor of the vines through the whole season. What I like about that idea of using drones to capture it is you get that fine resolution. You'd be able to see, we'd like to be able to see the vines, the rows in the image so that if something very specific needs to happen, um, we call it precision agriculture, so if something very precise needs to happen, then we can actually see what block we're in, count how many rows over it's happening, quantify the number of rows that are involved in the, in the phenomenon, um, and start calculating some very prescription, precise uh, management practices to, to deal with that particular characteristic. And I think that's the way the industry is gonna move.